Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I thought I would start making a nice um, tall slim journal. Now I'm going to be using these papers. Now these papers came out in my shop last week and they're the um, grungy and distressed uh, music paper and I'm loving them, really really loving them. I did them, I actually designed them because I want them to make a journal so I thought you guys might like them as well. So I have got uh, 12 pages all together. So we've got six pages which are the portrait. So they're printed um, this way normally. So this is called portrait and this way when they're printed is called landscape. Um, and most of my, uh, my um, papers for my digital kits are landscape. So I thought I would print some. Um, I've got six pages in here um, which are portrait. So we've got lovely, they're really, really lovely. So we've got six nice grungy music papers like this, um, which are great. And then I've done them on this way. So this is the landscape and these are doubled. So if you wanted to make a little journal um, like that, um, which are really nice to make, um, if you wanted little gifts, you could just put plain paper in the middle and use these as the outside. So it's like a little journal cover, which I'm loving. And then we've got six pages of these. So they are gorgeous. But today I'm just going to be using, let's just open these out, stuck together. There we go. So there, look at these. Aren't they great? So today I'm just going to be using these ones. So I just thought I'd show you those. And also the other thing that I'm going to be using are my um, fussy cut flowers. Now I've printed these onto my tea stain paper um, from the tea stain paper pack. So I thought I'd just show you these before I cut these out as well because I think they look really lovely um on the tea stain papers so i'm just going to fussy cut around these first so i'm going to do sort of like a flower and music paper journal and i've also got some lovely lace now this is the lace that i picked up when i was in england um it was from the wedding um part of um one of the craft shops in the uk um and it was really cheap it's really nice so i thought i'd use that i thought that would look quite nice in it i've got a few sort of like um, envelopes which are coffee stained envelopes so it's going to be sort of like lacy flowery um, and a little bit grungy so I thought that would be quite nice so I thought I would just show you this oh and another journal that I'm going to be using oops let's pop that lace out of the way that I'm going to be using or that I'm going to be working on as well is a nice a colourful one now I did this in my uh, mixed media on Sunday because um, I wanted another tool journal but I wanted to sort of like a nice colourful one I wanted two which are completely different so I did this which was printed printed it was painted inked and stamped and I've embossed on here I'll pop the link to the video because it's really nice really simple quick easy video um, and I've got my pastel um, papers in here as well which these colours work absolutely perfect don't they they go lovely so I thought that would be a really nice journal and I've got my words and phrases as well which I'm going to use in there so I thought that would be a nice colourful one so that's a nice sort of like summery one so I will be doing that one but today I'm going to just go and fussy cut these I'm going to pop those to the side because I don't need those and I'm going to use these I have it printed on the back as well which um is nice so that's just with my coffee and tea stain papers as well so i will be back two minutes when i've cut these out and got some bits and pieces ready so see you in a sec okay guys so i folded up the um music sheets were the portrait one so i folded those in half long ways um so i have got five i've got six of those i got i folded five in half and then i'm going to pop one on the outside i think I've fussy cut nearly all of the little flowers and I just think these look absolutely beautiful and I think they would go lovely on to the music paper. I didn't put anything on these, I wanted these plain um, when I printed them off because then you can add anything you like, you can like add flowers or birds or anything like that to them. Um, so, and then I've got a big envelope which I thought we could use as the actual cover. Now, where's my, I've got 
some tea stain paper. Now I've got 10 sheets which I folded in half. Now I want this to be the cover. I know it's a little bit big, but I'm not, I'm all right with that. It hasn't got too much room at the bottom and the top, but I think that will just work really well. So I think I'm going to turn this over. I think I'll have that. This is, I've just stuck it down, the, this down there. So I think I'm going to have that at the bottom like that and then I'm going to stick this piece on the front like that so I'll do that and then for these bits I've got five pieces on here here's another one and I think that was the one I was going to put on the front and I think that was the actual one yeah that's the front one so let's just pop that to the side so shall we have, shall we bend that one this way and put that in the middle. So then when we open up, we've got a music paper in the middle. And then we could probably, if there's 10, we could do that one of these every two pages, couldn't we? Make sure we've got them up the right way. So that can go in like that take this one out <clears throat> still got a bit of a croaky throat so I haven't quite caught what Andy had um, but I'm just feeling a bit croaky at the moment so that one can go in there like that and then that one can go in there like that okay what do you think so that's I want this, I'm not going to put too much on these papers <clears throat> because I want them to be, I want it to be a journal to be able to write in. So I'm just going to sort of like embellish the um, music paper bits. So that's going to be the inside. I quite like that. I know these are a little bit smaller because I had the, like, the little white border that I've cut off around there. So it's just a little bit smaller, but I quite like that. Now I'll probably ink those up, but that's the basics for the inside. So I'm going to pop that to the side and let's just try and sort the cover out. So I think that's going to be, let me just make sure that's going to fit properly. I don't want it to be a big, too big and fat. No, that's perfect. Okay, that's going to be the bottom. Turn that over. Let's pop this on here. Where's this lace? Shall we add a little bit of lace to this? Shall we put that underneath? That would look quite nice, wouldn't it? I can cut the edges off. Now I think I will probably have to sew around this. That would look quite nice, wouldn't it? So you've just got a little bit of the lace around the outside. Now I think I'll put it just make it a little bit bigger on there and sew around it just in case this could sort of like fold inside I think that's what I'll do let me just cut a little bit off let's take this make sure we are in line <clears throat> let's cut it a little bit bigger pop that to the side I think I will just ink around the edges on here just so it's a little bit just a little bit darker on here so this is going to be like just a sort of like a quick journal a nice quick long one long tall slim whatever you need to call them I'm not quite sure um, but it's quite nice to have different sort of like size journals, isn't it? Or at least know how to make them. Um, so you can have a variety. And this envelope outside is quite nice. It's a quite a nice one, isn't it, to put on the outside. Shall we just add a little bit on here? And it's going to be sort of, it's going to be quite soft, I think, obviously, because it's 
<coughs> an envelope. So let's just quickly do all of this. Nearly done. Perfect, that will do for a minute. Pop that down, put this on, and let's go this way. Now, how much shall we add that? Because I want to add this on top and sew around this. Now, I'm going to have to ink this as well, I think. <coughs> Okay, lovely. It just darkens the edge just a little bit. So what shall we do to stick this on? What shall I use? Maybe I'll just use a little bit of... Because it's going to fold up like that. I quite like that actually. Let's just use a little bit of Fabri-Tac. Not on fabric tag three in one, I mean. Let's just take this bit off the end. Let's just let's start at the top. Is this gonna come out? No. There we go. Just want it stuck down just a little bit. I think it it's leaking out of here. on first <clears throat> just a little bit let's hold this down because I think it just needs because I'm going to sew it anyway it doesn't need too much on there does it pop that down stick that down now, shall I sew around this bit first, or shall I pop this bit on and then, maybe I'll pop this on and then sew around it. So that will stick down. Yes, I like that. Let's pop a little bit of glue on here. Hold this down a little bit better. So you need something like three in one or fabric tack to stick this down. Um, because it's going on top of that sort of like lace and it's sort of synthetic lace it's not nice cotton lace it's just a bit sort of synthetic so you need something that's going to hold it down a little bit better I think that's why I'm going to have to sew this on there we go because nice cotton lace you can sort of like stick that down nicely can't you I don't mind if it's all sort of like crinkly and crunkly if you know what I mean. I'm not going to fold that until I've sewn it. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty even around the outsides. So I'm going to go and just sew both edges. So I'm going to go around the music paper and I'm also going to sew around the envelope as well. So I will be two seconds. Okay, perfect. So what I have done is this way around. I've gone all the way around it and I folded the lace in. So I'm hoping you can see that. I've just folded it in um, and gone round that double and then round the outside. So when we fold it like that, I think that looks really, really nice. So like that. So this is gonna go in here. Almost looks like a little picture frame, doesn't it? So that will fit in there nicely. Looks good. I was thinking as well, maybe we could pop like a little closure, well not like a closure, but a little extra bit that opens up with one of these. Oh my god, I've got the other bit of music paper on here which would look quite nice, wouldn't it? So then that would sort of like open up as an extra sort of like little flap. Could you use that pocket? I think I'd have to reinforce that little bit there, wouldn't I? Let's do it like this, it'll be easier. So if we popped that on there, 
don't necessarily need to use that as a pocket. We could stick that down. We could stick that down, couldn't we? And then just pop a little pocket on here. And then we could just put something around there to tie it. Let's think, and that opens up. That would be quite nice, actually. I'm trying to say, I'm trying to make it simple, but I'm going to just cover this anyway. I'm going to cover that just to leave like the edge of the border. I'm not going to put lace under it. Let's just ink it around. Let's pop a little bit of ink on here. Like that. Shall we ink this one? Let's pop that out of the way. So if I put that on here, shall we have it so it comes right to the edge, I think, and then that will probably reinforce that foldy bit there. So let's just oops, take this and just rip that down, make sure we are level on that side. What do you think about there? There we go. And then that will fold in that piece. I think we shall do that. Let's just ink around here and then we can pop something on the front. So what shall we pop on the here? And then we won't have to decorate the front of this one because this one will be on top. So we could put something a little bit bigger, couldn't we? I've got my little flowers I made. My little fabric flowers would look quite nice, wouldn't they? That I made from that charity shop dress I bought from England. I made those little fabric flowers. So should I stick that on? Stick it or sew it? Let's just stick it. Let's just use... Oh no, look, I've left my glue without the lid on. It was a bit silly, wasn't it? Okay, I'm going to have to use my other one. I'm going to have to use this one. This is my new one. Do I need to take the lid off? No. Okay, that was a bit silly, wasn't it? Let's just use a little bit of this. Make sure this doesn't come out too quickly. Just use a little bit so it doesn't ooze everywhere. on there. Make sure that's squashed down nicely. Yeah, I think I will sew around it. Let's pop the lid on there so that one doesn't dry up. Because I don't want to use, I don't think I want to use that envelope. I think I might. So if it goes on here like that. Bend that over. Shall I put something down there? We could do with it like a little bit of fabric or something, couldn't we? Or shall I just use this piece here? Just this bit so it looks like a little foldy bit. Shall we do that? Let's pop that like that, I think. And then we still have this nice piece here. Because I want it to look, I want some of this to look a little bit rustic. I don't want to, because they're tea and coffee stained papers, I don't want to cover them up completely. I want it to look a little bit grungy. But I wanted to try and make this one a little bit simple. Easy. So let's just ink down here. Like that, those little bits off. 
shall I stick in there? Let's just pop a little bit of glue just on this bit. There we go. Now this has got probably won't be sticky. Has it got? Oh, has that come off? Oh yeah. Because they have those little peel off bits, don't they? I think that one's already come off. Let's pop this on. Stick that on there. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to sew around this and I'm going to sew or just around I'm not going to bother about sewing down this bit because I'm going to go through that aren't I now so I'm just going to go around the edge of here so I will be two seconds okay so there we go that's that one done so that's left on there I've just about caught it on there so let me just bend this where should we bend it that's about there isn't it okay what did I do with that little bone folder let's make sure that's in there like that so that goes there oh yeah I had to put it on the right way around that's okay so I want you to just slip that on there so that fits perfect maybe I should sew that on I need to get a camera by my sewing machine don't I so I can show you me sewing as well shall I sew down there then that will look quite nice because that sort of it opens up and we can have like a little pocket or something on there can't we so I have got these out as well so these are the little flowers I was thinking of look at that that would look lovely wouldn't it how many did I make I made this a little one here I like this one that would look really nice on there now would we It goes like that and then we would need to be able to do a closure on here as well wouldn't we so let's have a think let's see that will go on there but that can go on last anyway it doesn't really matter but I've got these lovely little things as well didn't know that I cut out they might look actually these would be quite nice let's pop that to the side for a sec these might look nice as little sort of page tabs what do you think oh, i prefer them that way they would look quite nice wouldn't they like that i'm going to cut that in half let's have a look let's just cut this in half and then we can just use I think we'd have to cut them in quarters because they need to go on either side of the page. I've got enough of these, so if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. And then just stick it on like that. That would look really nice, wouldn't it? Stick that that side and then that that side so they stick together. I like that, but I think I'd probably put them on the music paper okay that's another idea that's what we should do so that can go over there that's on here so let's have a think shall we pop a little pocket on here or should i just sew that on first because i quite like that and then i think what i'll do is i just have a little tie closure to tie this around 
going to stick this on. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to stick it and then sew it because it's going to be opened and closed quite a lot, isn't it? So let's pop that on. I should stop talking and just do it, shouldn't I really? Should we just pop a little bit of this on? Because we're going to sew it anyway. stick is it now that was the wrong glue so don't use that glue use something that's going to stick a little bit quicker than that let's see if this will come on I've got a hole in here don't know whether it's to do with the heat but these are just popping open I have said this before where they pop open oh come on there we go let's stick a little bit of this on that there, pop that on there and let's just hold that down for a minute. There we go, that's better. That's not very level now is it? Completely out. Let's move up a little bit. That look about right? That's a little bit better isn't it? Fabulous. Okay, now I'm going to just sew over where I've sewn before, so just down that line and then just one of those on there, just the outer one so it just catches on that bit. So again, two seconds. Okay, so love that, I've just sewn that on so I think that looks really nice. I'm not going to add any more flippies at all. I'm just going to add that one. And then we are going to pop this in. Now, shall I cover... Oh, let's just cut these little bits off. Shall we pop a little pocket or something in there? Where's that little bit gone? There we go. Right, these bits look a little bit messy, don't they? But I don't mind... I don't want it to be too clean and tidy, do we? So we should we put that in there? You could put a little pocket or something in there. Let's see, we can add to that afterwards, couldn't we? So this is just going to go in like this, which I am loving. Now, that can wait because we'll do that. I'm going to just do the cover first, I think. So if we put a little flower on here, which looks lovely, what we are going to have to do for the closure is attach something underneath the flower. Now, two seconds. I'm just going to get some seam binding. Okay, so I've got some white. I use the Hug Snug seam binding now i get this from america but i probably won't be buying any more of it because the postage is just ridiculous um it's way way too expensive um to purchase anymore so i've got to be careful with it so should we put that in the middle or should we put that there so what i was thinking is if we attached it we could let's just unravel that a little bit bring it round and then tie it at the front, couldn't we? Right, I'm going to cut a piece off because I will have to colour this, I think, to try and match my little flower or even, let's, let's take a little bit off and then we can, got a bit of extra, haven't we? Let's just cut that. So what I was thinking, if this goes, and sticks underneath there so that would stick on top and then when you undo it it would be undone so this would be at the front and then when you do it up you just wrap it 
round the back and bring it to the front like that to tie it and then tie let's take that away a minute and then tie a little bow it wouldn't be this long like that and then this would sit in the front I think that would look really nice and then that would just hang down and that would just hold it tight or we could do it so it's tight on this side that's what I'm going to do I'm going to tie it like that so it's a little bit different right we will colour that at some point before we do this before we stick that on but loving that do we have what do you think should we add a little bit of something to the front as well these are pretty aren't they do we need a flower do we need a flower or should we have something else on here I think that would look really pretty wouldn't it don't want to think too fancy because we're going to have this on there aren't we decisions guys decisions so I've got a little bit of this a little bit of this no I'm going to keep that on there for the flower and pop on don't like any of that don't like any of that okay let's do this so I can't put that on until I colour the seam binding so I will do that in a second I'm going to take a little bit of this paper just so that we can make a little pocket and pop this on I'm going to just going to stick this on shall we have a little pocket there or shall we have a little side tuck oh my gosh decision making today I think I'm going to have a little side tuck because then we can fit a little bit more if we want to do anything on there so let's put that I'm going to fold it over a little bit as well so I want it a little bit bigger so I don't mind having the brown because it's got a nice brown on the back like that so I'm going to just take a little bit of this and let's just let's just fold that over pop that down just ink this little bit because this is the bit that we're going to see these little ones couldn't we what do you think what do you think or oh, a little bit of this in there sewing down maybe I'll pop a little bit of this on it's gonna to have to go this way I think so it's in this way around tuck that under there and then I can just sew it on I quite like it with the music paper underneath actually Let's just, I can trim this up afterwards I'd rather have it too big than too small so let's just put that in there pop that down I can sew around it and then we can just stick that on that looks nice doesn't it what do you reckon and pop something in there perfect 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 okay guys I'm going to go and quickly sew this two seconds okay so there we go perfect that was nice and quick and easy I was going to cut these little extra bits off because we don't need those like that perfect. pop those on my floor with all my other little bits and pieces which I need to have a good tidy up that's going to go on there like that so love that that looks good doesn't it so should we pop that just on with a little bit of the three in one I think let's just stick this down you could have probably stuck this down with some PVA as well or tacky glue but this is a little bit quicker sticks a bit quicker there we go 
Oopsie daisy. Let's just stick that on like that. Perfect. You even have like a little bit of music paper, a little like a little music paper letter to go in there, couldn't you? Okay, love that. That looks really lovely, doesn't it? I'm going to just ink this down here. Now, let's pop that to the side. Shall I quickly um, just colour? I don't want to put the lid on that, it's all dried up anyway. Let's just colour this, shall we? I just want it quite pale. Oh, that's all frayed. Let's cut that little bit off. Let's cut that off as an angle. We don't need that little frayed bit, do we? Oh, oh what's it doing in there? There we go. Okay, right, two secs. I'm just going to go and get the little bits and pieces we need to colour that. Okay, so I've popped some um, paper down so I don't get ink everywhere. I've got a little yogurt pot. I have got, I'm going to try and colour it with some of the Liquitex. Now I've got muted pink and I've got some titanium white. Now I only need a tiny, tiny bit of this. Um, and I'm going to try and do it so it's got some, a um, little bit of white on it as well. So I'm going to just quickly wet this. Now I find if you wet your ribbon or whatever you're going to colour first, the it sort of like spreads the colour a lot, lot better. So let's just make sure this is wet. Let's just roll that up together. Right, that's nice and wet. So I'm going to pop the tiniest, tiniest bit ooh, of this in there. Because I don't want it to be too dark. That's probably not going to be enough. But I want it to be pink. But obviously I wanted it to be even a more muted pink. To go with um, the other rose. Obviously I'm not going to get it perfect, am I? Let's just have a look. Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? This is more of sort of like a brownie colour, isn't it? But shall I add a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of brown? What do you reckon? Tiny bit. Look at that. Ooh. It doesn't have to be exact, does it? Let's pop that in. Let's have a look. I think that's a little bit too pink. It's a bit pale, isn't it? Yes, that's a little bit too pale. You need it a little bit darker than that. So let's do that again. A little bit of that one. A little bit of white. And a tiny, tiny bit of the brown. Oops. Now this is quite wet, so I'm just going to wring out some of that in there. Just see what colour we come up with. Okay, let's pop that in. Let's rub that together. That's quite pretty, isn't it? I think it needs to be a little bit darker. I want to get ink on here. It needs to be just a tiny bit darker. Let's just squeeze a lot out of there. Okay, tiny bit of brown. It's all trial and error, isn't it? If it goes wrong, I'm sure we will come out with a pretty colour seam binding anyway, won't we? you add the white, it just sort of like mutes it a little bit. Do you know what I mean? What do you reckon? Or do you think I'm lightening it too much? 
bit more pink, tiny, tiny bit more brown. Give it a little shake. There we go, let's just dip that in. What do you reckon? That's looking a little bit better, isn't it? Hmm, maybe I'll try it without the white. I'm going to try this without putting the white in there, I think. I'm going to just squeeze a little bit out. Okay. I don't want to overdo it. I think that's not bad, is it? That's not bad. I don't want it too browny, but I want it with a little bit of pink. I think I'm going to leave it there. There we go. So that was a little bit of trial and error, wasn't it? Mix this up. Pop that down. Now, I think I'll probably go and pop this in the garden. It's so hot um, that it will dry pretty, pretty quickly. So that's quite nice. What do you think? Do you think that's too pinky? Well, I'm going to dry it and find out. So I'm going to go and have some lunch. I'm going to dry this and then I will be back. For you, it will be like two seconds all right guys see you in a minute okay guys so this has come out a really lovely color so it's not too dissimilar is it um but it's in the same sort of like color palette so i'm loving it now i also found i was having a nice little rummage through my bits of lace which i haven't looked through for ages and i found this piece which i have probably looks like i've cut a piece off here like that so I'm going to pop this I think stick this onto the inside cover because I think that would look really really lovely I've got this white which also I was going to pop but I don't think I need that if I did I would have to sort of like color this I think but I don't think the white really goes. But I think this would look absolutely gorgeous on it. Um, so I might just stick that on the back. A little bit of thread on there. I can stick that on. I don't really want it to flap. I think I want it to actually stick, stick down. So it's part of the actual page. So let's try and... It doesn't matter then about this little bit that's been cut off, does it? So I'm just going to stick this down with some Fabri-Tac. And then if at some point it does sort of like come up, it's going to be stitched in this way anyway, when we sew in the um, signatures. Now, I'm just going to left my glue upside, um, the right way up. So let's have a look. Let me do it this way. So we need to pop this in the middle so this goes down the middle so I presume that's the middle one this can be at the top let's just get some glue out of here let's stick you there I don't really want to stick too much down the middle bit because that's where we're going to sew the signatures in isn't it so let's just stick a bit just there, a little bit there, let's do this as we go down shall we, oops my battery just went then so sorry I had to just quickly change my battery, there we go let's just pop another little bit just there. Oops. Loving this. That would look really nice. Stick that 
down, a little bit down there, and these little bits on here. Which looks lovely. Should we stick these little bits down? So they've just been cut, I think. So must have just cut a little end bit off, mustn't I? To pop somewhere. Okay, so that's lovely. Let's stick this bit there. You can always stick little bits down if need be. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Now I do like that. Now let's pop you upside down. So this will go in there like that. So love it. Look at that. I think that looks really lovely on the inside, doesn't it? Perfect. So what I will do I'm going to ink these around the edges, but I won't do that. I'll do that off camera because you don't need to, to see me do that. This I am loving. I think that's a really lovely colour. So again, we don't need all of it, do we? How much do you think we need? So if that goes around there and then around there tie this I don't want to be too stingy I don't want too much hanging off either so let's just have about that much and then we will pop that so this will just sort of like almost like hang down the side love it so I'm going to cut this little bit off I'm going to cut it there, then we can use that for the inside a little bit. Love that. So, shall I put this on? Oh, I've got glue on there. Do you think I should sew that on? Sew it on? I'm not going to sew it on. I'm going to pop that. Stick that on. Maybe I'll stick this on and leave the flower for um because after we've sewn in the signature so should i sew should i glue it all the way through i'm going to stick a little bit i'm just going to stick this bit along here just like that and then let's find the middle that's roughly the middle. Stick that on there. Perfect. So then when we undo it, this sort of like hangs on the front, which is quite nice actually. And then we just tie it round the back. tie that on now I do love it that's such a lovely colour so pleased with that and then this can hang it doesn't have to be tied tight but that hangs down like that I love it lovely lovely so I think I will probably leave it there guys because this is probably a bit of a video that's gone backwards and forwards to my sewing machine so I'm going to have to definitely if I'm going to do more sewing I try and get a camera set up by my machine so I can show you what I'm actually doing. But loving that. So, okay, guys, I am going to ink around these, and then in our next video, we will just embellish the pages with our beautiful little fussy cut flowers, um, and maybe a little bit of these on here. So they look really pretty and it's just going to be a journal it's not going to have too much i'm just going to um, embellish the music papers because i want these to actually write in i want to actually a journal that we can write in maybe i'll pop a little few page tabs on there or something but we will get and finish it off for the next video which i will do tomorrow 
all right guys well thank you so so much for joining me have a fantastic rest of the day and i will see you soon all right guys bye bye